coming in, Lord, I pray that you give him that foresight, that vision, oh God, Father, to rule and to take care of this crime situation. Oh Lord, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you'll give him divine ideas, oh God, Father, to make things successful in this land. Lord, I pray for the Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Terrence, Terrence the Alsing, oh God, Lord, oh God, that you give him that wisdom as well to deal with the situation, this pandemic, oh God, that has hit our country, Lord, Father, God, Lord, that he will understand and he will rule, oh God, Father, with wisdom, Lord, that he will rule, oh God, Father, not just taken for himself, oh God, but Lord, he will rule with the people in, in mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, Father, Lord, that you continue to cover our ministers and our leaders with your blood. Lord, oh God, I thank you, oh God, that each and every person that is under the sound of my voice that is connected with this country, Lord, I pray a blessing upon them. Lord, and as our anthem says, may God bless our nation. Lord, I stand in the office of a prophet today and I declare that this country will be a country of order. This country will be a country of success, oh God. Lord, that you will take Trinidad glo continually global in a good way, God. Lord, I declare the crime situations be brought down. COVID situations be brought down. Oh, Lord, Father God, make us an example, a beacon, oh God, to the Caribbean as we already are. But Lord, increase us, oh God. Increase our oil wells, oh God. Increase, oh God, Father, our national national natural resources. Increase, oh God, Father, the entrepreneurs with, oh God, divine ideas that will not only help Trinidad and Tobago, but will help the world, oh God. Lord, oh God, increase in our attorneys, oh God, our scholars, oh Lord. Lord, even those that are in the science sector, oh God. Lord, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you increase them with wisdom, oh God, Father, so that they will not only benefit Trinidad and Tobago, but the world and then our country oh God, Father, will be lifted up, oh God, as a light, as a connection, oh God, to goodness, to greatness. Father God, I thank you for this land. Oh my God, bless our nation. Indeed, Lord, enlarge us, oh God, make us a great nation. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Settled. This is a wonderful time uh, with Minister Crystal uh, that is praying on the altar. And uh, before she goes, we just feel like uh, as she holds the, uh, the flag of Trinidad is behind she, and also the flag of uh, Biafra. So she has prayed for this great nation to be successful in all ways. Anyways, uh, before we bring another guest, we have to log her out by uh, putting up the national anthem once again. Thank you. 
Sister Krista, God bless you real good for standing uh, for Trinidad Tobago this morning. Amen. May God richly, may God richly bless you and all that and let the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. So from me to you, I just want to say to you, God bless you. I know you are busy to doing the work of God, which you are doing. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So, <clears throat> whatever place you are, I don't know whether Mama Adams is online to pray for the national security and to keep us where we're supposed to be even at this hour. So, we're about to bring in another woman of God, all we are doing today is just to pray for this island we are in by the grace of God. Um, everything will be okay. Glory to God. And uh, Mama Adana will also be on Zoom to pray for these are our pastors coming on Zoom to pray for this island. So they would be online one after the other. Mama Cross uh, will be online just now to pray. If you like Trinidad and Tobago, all you need to do at this hour is to give us a call <clears throat> and pray for this island. to God, uh, <clears throat> I want you to uh, unmute yourself and introduce yourself. This is uh, Minister Cross Adams, and uh, she's just about to pray for this great Trinidad and Tobago. So, Mommy Adam, what do you have to say about Trinidad and Tobago? Today is our independent that we can bless the country together. Thank God that we are living in such a, a country where there's a vast amount of different religious units that pray for the country. I believe this is part of why we have not been hit so hard with this COVID virus, that we, the different denomination continue to pray for the country and the country's people. Just recently, we had an election and the voice of the people spoke and they said the voice of the people is the voice of God. So we have to learn to abide by the rules, the regulation, continue to follow the instructions, you know, you wear your face mask, you sanitize yourself, you practice social distancing and don't be disobedient. When we walk in disobedience, we walk in all sorts of trials and tribulations and even debt because disobedience brings debt to us. 
So as we go forward, as today's our independence, let us stand up as a nation, join together. It's regardless of race, nationality, every creed and race, as the anthem says, found an equal place here. Let's live in love and unity. Let's go forward. Let's seek each other's interests. Let's not be selfish. Let us go together as one body, one mind, in one unity. You seek your brother's interests. Be each other's keeper. So if you know you're sick, don't go out. There are other mediums. You could call somebody and get whatever you need. They can leave it at your doorstep for you. You don't need to go out and infect anybody. Go out, you know you have to wear your, your mask. Wear your mask when you have to be in public. Sanitize yourself. Make sure that you don't take back something that you didn't go with to your family or you didn't bring to someone. Because it's not a nice thing to see someone suffering with these with this COVID-19 disease, this, this virus. It is hard. But the earth is purging itself right now. And we thank God for whatever he's doing. And he mess up everything. We must give him praise. We must give him thank and we must give him glory. Every time you wake up in the morning and you take your first breath of life, you say, thank God. Thank God that you're here still in the land of the living in the right frame of mind. You may not have everything that some people who, um, because of the situation, may not have a job right now. But God is, will provide. If you trust in and believe in him, he will provide. The governor has put things in place for the people. Let's follow the instruction. Let's do what we're supposed to do. And leave God to do the rest. Glory to God. So can you release a word of prayer for everybody before I bring in another person? God, I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you the honor that is due to your name. Father God, we place Trinidad and Tobago before you here today. Father Lord, this twin island nation, Father God, we are thanking you for your hands in our life, Father God, your hands in this country, Father God, because you have steered us away from this pandemic, the, the, the vast, oh Lord, Father, the vast majority of countries have suffered so much loss, Father. We are sorry for those who have lost their loved ones through this pandemic. We are grateful that the majority of people are saved. We are thankful, Lord, Father, God, as you open up the eyes of the people and the eyes of the nation to be in one mind, one body, one unity, that we will go forward and seek each other's interests. Father God, we praise you and worship and adore you, Lord. We put their hands, put your hands on the government, Father God. Give them new ideas, new, new things to do. Father, Lord Jesus, as they, they try to keep us together sound, Lord, touch them in a special way. Give air to the instructions, my people. Give air to the instructions. In my little workplace, sometimes, you know, you have to ask the employees and them to come in, sanitize your hand and some give attitude. But they don't know that, you know, just by an obedience, you can. Hello. <laughs>
Hello, Mama Dana, wherever place you are, you are, you are on, on. I don't know whether you are ready to just release a word of prayer for the people. I know that everybody is busy today cooking for the families and all that, but yes. we need to release the word of prayer for them. Can you put up your face if you are where you can um, so that sorry. the people can know? Oh, sorry, 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 right. sorry. Um, <laughs> release a word of prayer. That is uh, Pastor uh, Sherian, popularly known as Mama <laughs> Uh, we take her on our ways this morning. So we want her to be a blessing to people of Trinidad and Tobago to release a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father and God, we come to you today, O oh Lord God, acknowledging you as Lord over Trinidad and Tobago, O oh Lord God. Father God, we acknowledge you, O oh Lord, as king over this land of Trinidad and Tobago, O oh God. There is nothing that has happened here that you do not know, O oh God. There is nothing that is going to happen here that you don't know, O oh God. You have this nation of Trinidad and Tobago in your hand, O oh Lord God. Father God, your character is good. You are goodness itself, O oh Lord God, and nothing and nothing shall happen without you knowing, O oh Lord God. Nothing shall happen without you knowing, O oh Lord God. Father God, this nation right now is under a crisis, O oh Lord God. Father God, I ask you to put people in place for the ministers of God. Put godly people, O oh Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Put godly people in place, O oh Lord God, that they will give guidance and that they will give instruction to the ministers and everybody in charge, O oh Lord God, that they will get godly counsel, dear God, to know where to move and what is the next move, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Father God, today we focus on your goodness. Today we focus on your character. Today we focus, O oh Lord, on the things that you have done in this nation of Trinidad and Tobago that you are still holding this nation in spite of what is happening, oh God, in your hand, oh Lord God, and that you are still seeking people to turn their hearts to you, oh God, turn their hearts from stone and turn it to flesh, oh Lord God. You are still calling our people in spite of what is happening around us, oh Lord God. The evidence is real, oh Lord God. The evidence is true, almighty God, that you are still calling people unto yourself, dear God. All we need to do is to look back at the things that you have done for this nation. All the crises that you have took us through and you have brought us through and you have brought us through victoriously, dear God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, we look to you and not another God we look to, oh God. Only you, only you and you our Lord, oh God. If only we can turn from our wicked ways, oh Lord God. You said you will hear from heaven, oh God, and that you will heal our land, oh Lord God. Father God, heal our land, dear God. We look to you and not another, oh God. We ask you to heal our land, dear God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. As we stand in the gap, dear God, and we intercede for this nation of Trinidad and Tobago, oh God. We ask you to heal our land, oh God, and let your people come together, dear God, as one, and in one accord, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for a cause, oh Lord. For a cause, oh Lord God, let us come together, believing, believing with faith that we shall come out of this crisis in the name of Jesus Christ. As we stand for independence today, Lord God, we declare our independence from this COVID, dear God, in the name of Jesus, where all can come together, dear God, and fellowship together one more time again for your honor and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Father, it's wonderful. Mama Dana, we give God praise. And we know that God of heaven have answered us. And yeah. everything is going to be, I God bless you as yeah. you go to cook for your family. I'm prepared for this independent. <laughs> I know you are going, is there any going to be anything like roti and dobo and no, pilau? No, 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 oh no, my no. God. <laughs> All right. Uh, take care of yourself and yes. God bless you. Well, that is a wonderful time with Mama Adana there. 
she's doing a great work real great work and god of heaven any person that want to come online it's time for you to log in on zoom come online and be a blessing to trinidad and to big go sweet island <laughs> Uh, mommy Esther, dear Mommy Esther, if possible, if you can just unmute your mic so that you can bless the people. This is Trinidad Tobacco, where we are, and you are in another country at this hour. Maybe because you show yourself, maybe unmute yourself, you are still mute, unmute yourself, and uh, maybe as you are doing that, let's play the national anthem of your people. <laughs> All hail be your land of the rising sun, we love and cherish, we have vanquished our enemies, all hail be your God bless the in him we trust, shout it, sing it, all hail the Lord. Well, this is Trinidad and Tobago. I know that you have unmuted your mic, so we are about to, you are about to pray for Trinidad and Tobago. It's a land, it's an island, and today we are independent and our pastors are praying for the land. So we want you to pray for the land. Use this opportunity to pray for Trinidad and Tobago. And I believe that the Lord will be. All right. Um, thank you very much, Commander, for the privilege. I pray for the land, Trinidad and Tobago. I pray that the mighty hand of God will continue to be with you. I pray that your land shall prosper. I pray that your land shall continue to expand, shall continue to increase, shall continue to know the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will continue to grant your leaders wisdom, good ideas to lead and direct you people well, in the name of Jesus, I pray that Lord shall be your backbone, that Lord shall give you the strength to conquer your enemies, to conquer in everywhere that you are facing challenges. In the name of Jesus, I pray that no weapon being fashioned against the land of Trinidad and Tobago shall prosper, and every tongue, every man, woman that will rise up against them, enjoy them. Let them be condemned in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Bless. you very much for this wonderful prayer time. May the Lord continue to bless you in the name of Jesus. I know you are busy. Keep doing you, what you are doing. You and the heart. Lord will bless you, you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, we have uh, Minister Care is there. So we are bringing minister here to come and pray for us. 
Bless you, Minister Kia. Unmute your mic and release a word of prayer to the people of Trinidad and Tobago before you go to work. Uh, the world is listening to you. And can you release the word of prayer for them? I know you are busy. Today is a busy day. Good afternoon, everyone. I would just like to pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you as your servant, as your child, God. God, I want you to cover the hearts, cover the minds of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Lord, right now is a troubling time. Right now is a time that is putting fear into your children, God. God, renew their hearts. Cover the minds of the head, God, so that they may lead their Jesus. God, I cover the frontline people, God, those that are in the hospitals, the police officers, the doctors, the nurses, God, the firemen, God, all of them who are essential, Jesus. I pray upon their life, God. members of all organizations the public god allow them to know what is right from wrong allow them to follow the word the, the law of the land god allow them to know how important it is to follow the law of the land god i continue to bless you i continue to praise you i decree and declare that all fear has been removed from the minds of the people god i decree and declare that all things will work together for its good i decree and declare happiness good health their god and protection is covered we are having a little problem with her amen. voice there she's amen 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 it is settled happy Bless independence you. and tobago God bless you, really good Minister Care, for this opportunity, for this time. You have used it to pray for Trinidad. God bless you as you go. We bring another person to come and bless us. Is baby commander there and uh, god bless you this yeah. today is independent day of uh, this great island of trinidad and tobago and uh, 
I know that God is a good God, is about to do a new thing. So what do you have to say about Trinidad and Tobago and release a word of prayer for them before we play your own national anthem? Um, or do we play your national anthem before you talk? your mic. All right. So what do you have to tell us in Trinidad? Um, to be go. Mm -hmm. Today I wish the Trinidad and Tobago a happy independence, 58 years of independence. Together we aspire, together we achieve is the motto, and that's the motto that we need to live in in this 2020 and beyond. <clears throat> so can you pray for the Prime Minister? Minister of National Security and uh, Minister of Health uh, for God to protect, give them wisdom on how to guide this sweet island. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning, Lord, this afternoon, thanking you, Father God, for 58 years of independence. We cover the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley of this nation. We cover him with your blood. We ask you to put a hedge of protection around him, Father God. Give him wise counsel, for your word tells us that we're supposed to seek wise counsel. So make him to have men and women of God that can give him the wisdom of God and the wise counsel of God. We ask you, Jesus, to cover the Minister of National Security. Father, Father God, it's not an easy job and an easy position he's in. Give him the wisdom to make the decisions that's in alignment with your word. Help him to teach the people under him to treat people fairly. Help him to guide this nation in a safe and a protective way. Father God, be with him in every decision he's making. Oh, Father God, the Minister of Nationals, the Minister of Health, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to be with him as well, Father God, as he's dealing with the pandemic that the world is going through. Help him, Father God, to make the right decision. Help him to put the people first and to make sure he's taking care of the people because it's the people that has put him in position, Father God. Let it not just be for the favored, but let it be for everybody in the nation, Father God. Watch over the Minister of Health today. Bless the entire um leadership of Trinidad and Tobago. Watch over the entire leadership of this country. Those here, there, and everywhere, even the ones that we didn't get to mention, bless them, Father God, to put country first, to put people first, Father God, and nothing else. And more importantly, to put God first. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this independence, and we thank you for this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. It is settled. Thank you for being a blessing to this sweet island.
Thank you. Okay. And I know you are busy. <clears throat> Remain blessed. Wow, what a God. We are still here to get men and women connected uh, to this great commission, to this sweet island, to pray for them. Uh, there are some a lot of people online. I don't know whether they are prepared right now to release a word of prayer for this sweet island of Trinidad and Tobago. Mommy Ben Ben Benelin. All right. Uh, she's still trying to get herself connected. We are about to bring other people. But before then, <clears throat> I want you to know that God is the only one that can put people in power. And God is the only one that can remove people. So if election come gone, we put our differences behind and move our nation to the next level. So these are, I really thank God for everybody that have joined us and everybody that have joined us. And I say, may the good God continue blessing you mindly. <clears throat> Keep safe. Uh, whatever place you find yourself, keep safe. It's very important. Keep safe. Um, obey the law of the land. Obey your government. That is the most important thing at this hour. I want you to know you don't have any other country except your country. If you spoil your country, there is no any other country you, you can call. Do you have a tar? Do you Some have a tar? Are calling on do you have a tar? In order do you have a tar? 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 We are not you have calls now. We just want people that will come live on Zoom and pray for the people not calling us to, you know, contribute or to say something. We want people to come in with their faces. And we really thank God for all that have participated for this day independent. I pray that the good God, the God of heaven, will keep blessing you. Really good. So as I play this music, finally, I will be thinking of logging out. But before I log out, I just want us to uh, listen to this uh, uh, music. It will be like a blessing to some of us. Glory to God. And um, I want us to know God is doing a new thing in our life. <laughs> Commander CSI Day Line so Anywhere you are, make you just hear this one. As you hear them so, make you just full and JJ cool. Make you know the tire to speak in tongues. Make you know the tire to go to church. Make you know the tire to give your offering. Make you know the tire to give your time. Make you know the tire to give to your prophet. Make you know the tire to give to the Lord. Ah. Make you know the tire to listen to me. Ah. One day, one day, Jesus go come. He go carry us go. Oh, yeah. Ego carry us 
Covenant all the way from Ghana. God's Covenant, God bless you, Ray Good, for joining to be a blessing to the sweet island of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to let people know that God knows how to use his people. And at this hour, that God's Covenant is here. Uh, to be a blessing to each and every one of us. We will be playing the national anthem. Of Trinidad and Tobago, because today is their Independent Day celebration. So what do you have to tell them? Do you have a word of prayer for this great country? Yeah. God bless everybody. May the Lord richly bless everybody in the land of Trinidad. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ the one that died and rose again, that as the Lord that watched Israel, that never slumber, keep on watching Trinidad and Tobago, keep on protecting the land of Trinidad and the people in it. We come against every powers of darkness, 
We come against every divination. We come against every forces. We come against every enchantment. We pray that as the Lord has waited and keep the city up to these days, that today being the independent day of Trinidad and Tobago, I pray that the same God will protect the people in it and bring peace unto the land. And the land shall be fruitful and every soul in there shall be fruitful. I pray and I prophesy upon the land that the land of Trinidad and Tobago shall be fruitful and everybody in it also shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord shall be made manifest. And I pray and I bring the leaders of Trinidad and Tobago unto the Lord. I ask the council of Jehovah to take preeminent, to take control over the city and the leaders in the land. I ask this wisdom of Solomon upon their life and upon their destiny, that the Lord shall lead them and the Lord shall order their footsteps, shall be a good leader unto the nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every soul that is created by God in Trinidad of Tobago for peace of God and blessing of God upon their life. They shall be blessed in their going out. They shall be blessed in their coming in. As it is written in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, it says, Blessed shall they be in the land and blessed shall they be in the field. May their life be blessed and may their business also be blessed in the name of our lord jesus christ thank you father for answering this prayer in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you god's word all the way from ghana this prayer is wonderful before you go let's play your national anthem <laughs> you man of god for joining us this day from thank you papa Anna. i will call you immediately after this broadcast god bless you yourself and talk to the people of the land just release a word of prayer to them and we will be logging out you are the last guest we have all that seven guests but we can continue you are the last guest that we have at this hour can you release a word of prayer for Trinidad and Tobago and give the leaders advice sure I am Taisha Adams from Prophetic Embassy, and I just want to tell Trinidad and Tobago that all shall be well. We will overcome this COVID-19. I pray that God heal the land, 
pay the land from every sickness that we have, every criminal activities that is taking place in the land. I pray that God heal us and see us through with our overcomers. I just want everybody to continue in prayer, whatever faith or, or religion you belong to, just continue praying for we shall overcome. And to the leaders, just continue, you know, being advised by, you know, those persons who have the experiences in dealing with a pandemic and so forth, so that we all can go back to being normal sooner than later. All right. So I just ask that, you know, we all follow the protocols of the government to try and adhere to what it is they're trying to do to keep us safe, make sure and wash your hands. Make sure and sanitize when there's no water, soap and water available, wear a mask, and just try, you know, to be patient in what is taking place. It's not only Trinidad and Tobago is facing this pandemic, you know, it's the whole world, and we could be worse off than the situation that we already in. So just try your best and keep yourself safe and your family safe, and continue praying and believing and trusting in God. If it is any prayer and counseling, you can always, um, click on our Zoom link. We have uh, times, uh, dates and times that we do have services virtually. We, you can also follow us on Facebook as well as on Twitter. If it is you need to see our profit, you can also make an appointment the same one-on-one. -on -one. Be blessed and have a safe, safe 58th independence. Wow, so Trinidad is 58 years today mm, yes. what a god is wonderful it's amazing that the country is moving gradually gradually and gradually and all of us from this end we just want to say god bless everyone for joining us and as we log out uh i will not stop without at least recognizing the land of the rising sun in Africa. So before Taisha goes, I just want to play these two national anthem and we'll be signing out. Some of you that logged in and you have been there, I'm sorry that I could not bring everybody in, but for those that have come in, God bless you and God bless our sweet island. Amen. All hail be your land of the rising sun, we love and cherish, we have vanquished our enemies, all hail be your God bless the offering, in him we trust, shout it, sing it, all hail be God bless the offering, we have ye triumphant from all our foes through the crucible and scape we passed victorious our trumpets pealing the glorious song play it sing it all hail be your cross. All hail be your cross. We shall always remember all that perished in the struggle for our freedom. All hail our heroes, all prayer shall be known, both day and night, say them always, all hail the 
Adams, God bless you for joining us as we sign up. God bless everyone for joining us today. My name is Commander CSI, and Taisha is the last guest we have for today. Keep safe as you move around, obey your government. You don't have any other country except in Sioux Island. So whatever place you are around the world listening to me, obey your government. God bless you real good. My name is Commander CSI. They call me the Falcon Spirit. From me to you, I just want to say Asante. Only one in Shalom.